Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're gonna be restoring two vending machines that are in horrible conditions. Just look at that. Are just so bad. Just to show you guys that you could restore anything, doesn't matter the conditions, you know. By the way guys, thank you all for the support of my last video. I really appreciate all of the comments, all of the love. Thank you all so much and let's just, let's get started with the video. Alright guys, I just bought this machine for only $60. That's an amazing deal. Definitely, you know, bought it, you know, really good. Only 60 bucks, not bad at all. The machine looks great. Only some paint damages, which is nothing too crazy. Just gotta paint it. Guys, it's the next day and we have some bad news. The coin mix are stuck. They just don't work. And I thought they were new because, you know, just look at it. They're chrome. They're not rusty or anything. So I just bought it. I didn't even check them. And yeah, guys, I definitely took an L be careful when you buy off facebook marketplace because this stuff can happen that's probably why it was so cheap but i mean i'm not gonna stress too much because i have some coinmex here in my house laying around so i'm gonna definitely use those so yeah now i'm gonna be sanding it down getting it ready for the paint and yeah it's just sand this down Good question, Alex. I mean, I normally, when I go to the places that I want to place a machine, I just ask ask for the owner or the manager, if it's the owner, even better. And then just tell them, hey, good morning. My name is Nadia Lechavarria, which is my full name. And I'm starting a vending machine business, the, the ones that you put quarters on them. And then I show them a picture of the machine that I want to place in there. And then tell them it's completely zero cost. You don't have to invest in anything and i'll give you a 15 percent of the whatever the machine makes every time i come here and collect some money and i just i just say that and most of the time you know sometimes they say yes sometimes they say no if you have any more questions or you need any more tips let me know in the comments guys and yeah hopefully this helped all right guys it's looking awesome now we're gonna put some clear coat on it so let's go guys just look how awesome this looks it's so shiny it looks great to be honest and just look how it used to look look at the red compared to the to the new one it looks so shiny and glossy it's perfect love how it looks now i'm just putting all of the parts that it needs All right, guys, now we're going to be putting the Coimex, which is the, the ones that I had here in my house. They have little dots on them, but it doesn't matter. They're chromey and it works, which is the important thing. And guys, just look how good that looks. The, the Coimex with the red is just so good. We're going to test this. If it works, it's working. Let's go. And obviously, we can't forget the candy labels. I mean, come on. All right, guys, now I'm gonna be testing the M&Ms to see if they work fine, you know, how many dispensers to see if I gotta adjust it or anything. <laughs> Bro, my dog straight up ate it, it didn't even hesitate it. He just ate it. I don't think that's good for her, but you know, the machine, just look how it looks. It looks awesome. Just, it looks brand new. It looks even better than brand new. Just, it looks beautiful. Just look at it. Now we, we placed it in the location, which actually the machine next to it, it's mine too. And it's time to restore this other horrible machine. This one, it, this, this machine is actually the one that is the most like, you know, really bad like just look at that you know it's just we're just gonna remove all the parts clean it up sand it down and it's just the color that i'm gonna paint this machine and you know all that stuff but here is here it is you know let's just get to building yo Bro, this thing almost fell down, bro. I caught it in the air. Like, I literally, I literally caught it in the air. That's crazy. All right, guys, I'm sounding this down. We 
removing the locks. And I'm painting this machine like an orange, like neon orange, which I think is gonna turn out great, and we'll see. It's already looking great. I mean, obviously, it needs a second coat, but it's, it looks so bright. All right, guys, it's now time to paint the actual machine, so let's go. This is how the machine is looking right now. I mean, obviously, it still needs a second coat, but we'll get it done real quick. Just wanted to show you guys. And also, I painted the lid fully. And guys, this is the next day. Just look how it turned out. It looks so good. It looks great. You know, doesn't even need the clear coat because it, lo it looks pretty shiny already. Now I'm going to sand down the stand because just look at that. It looks really rusty and dirty. I just sanded down everything and now I'm just painting it a glossy black. And I also painted the little doors that makes the candy not go out. And guys, I already got a location for this machine. I went to the place that I wanted to place it and the owner wasn't there, but I, he, the employee gave me his number and I called him and he said yes. So I, I'm just rushing to get this machine out as fast as I can before I can place it there. And I also cleaned up everything as you guys can see. Obviously, we can't have a dirty machine out here. Come on now. Putting the plastics on, everything back on. It's looking great now we're gonna put some candy in it also i'm gonna be trying out new candy which is the boston beans i've never tried it so we're gonna see how it moves on my machines all right we got it locked up and guys just look how this machine turned out i can't believe this machine is that machine it just it's completely different i also got the machine keychain because why not? And I'm actually going to drop it off in the location right now. We got my baby right here with the seatbelt on. So let's go. And here's the machine on the location. Hopefully it brings me up a lot of money next month. You guys have to stick around and find out. <laughs> all right, guys. This is going to be the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. And stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to be collecting lots of money from some of my vending machines and also i'm gonna be buying even more vending machines you know keep on expanding the business and keep on growing you know thank you all for watching peace out